Rachel Lieber. In today's video, I am telling you all about the delicious books I am munching this month of June. <sighs> this water has lemon in it, and it's very lemony. Um, I think I might have gone overboard with the lemon. It's nice, but now I just really want to drink as much as I can to put some more water in there so I can have some water. <laughs> absolute beast and it is one that has been on my shelf for a year maybe more and I have been like gonna get to it gonna get to it really want to get to it but of course it's it's huge it's it's really big and so I've been putting it off putting it off putting it off but now because I've been putting it off it turns out that my TBR is just full of really big books now and I've read all the short ones or most of the short ones so I've decided I'm gonna bite the bullet because I do really want to read it and the next book in the series has you know come out or is coming out I believe it's already come out so I really need to read this one so I can just move on with my life and it is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas now this is like a spin-off thing from the Throne of Glass series as it says right here a Throne of Glass novel but apparently it is Kale's story um, and Kale is one of my favorite characters from the Throne of Glass series now I don't love the Throne of Glass series as much as I did when I first began reading it because around book three or four it started to go off in ways that I personally would have preferred that it didn't go. I mean it's still really interesting, I still want to know what happens next, I'm still going to read it till the end. But I am however very excited to read this because this is, involves a character that I really really liked from the original series and he kind, of, he kind of doesn't have such a big role in the later books so I'm really looking forward to getting more into K.O. Westfall's little adventure. So I'm just peeling off the sticker which I've just noticed. It says contains mature content and if I can just see... Oh, okay, not suitable for younger readers, which we all know um, if we have read uh, the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Anyways, so basically in the Throne of Glass series, something happens to Kale. I can't really tell you much about this without giving spoilers, so I, this is going to be short. Um, but yes, yeah, something happens to Kale, and basically he ends up going on a sort of mission. Um, in this book, and so so the adventure continues in the Throne of Glass series, and we kind of, as I said, we don't see much of him anymore because he's gone on a mission. Um, so this book is now where he goes and what he does in the meantime of all the things that are happening parallel in the Throne of Glass series. Um, so yes, I am really, really looking forward to diving into this, but guys, it is, it is, you know, this is like the whole month's read, so I'm really hoping that I'm going to get through it, but that is why for my second book that I chose to read it is a very different kind of book. Um, so in my last video, I think it was the last my last Books to Munch video or so, I said that I want to try and read more nonfiction. So because this one's so huge, I've actually chosen a nonfiction for this um, this month. However, it is a nonfiction that requires very little to no reading, right? So. It is a mindfulness coloring book. I like um, to read my nonfiction books I've started reading in the mornings because they usually set me up for a nice day and just put me in a good calm state. So I figured that this is a book and it's nonfiction and it doesn't require much reading. It will take time. Um, I've already started coloring some of it, but it is a coloring book and it's called The Enchanted Forest. And basically there is a quest. It says, can you solve the quest of the enchanted forest? Inside this book is wonderful inky wonderland full of curious creatures, blah, 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 blah. Find your way through the ferns and flowers, magical trees and thorny vines, blah, 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 blah. But then hidden throughout the book are nine symbols carved into square tablets. Find the symbols to unlock the castle at the end of the quest and discover what lies within. So I'm really looking forward to that, finding these symbols and going on some kind of adventure and seeing what lies inside the enchanted castle in this enchanted forest. So it seems like a really fun thing to do and basically I'm not going to get through all of it. I don't, you know, I think you're supposed to take your time with it. I doubt you're supposed to get through the whole book in a month, but I'm basically going to take the time every morning instead of reading a nonfiction book to just sit in my mind and color in some of these delightful things and see if I can, you know, start the quest of the Tent Forest. And the third and final book that I am reading this month, or rather have already read, is my indie pick of the month! And that is Supernatural Academy by J. Min E. Now this is a new series, it just came out um, early May, so I got it right 
right as it came out. And it's also a new author for me because I'm trying to read a different indie author every month. So this is Jamin Eve. I've, of course, I've actually even done newsletter swaps with her. I do know of her and of her books and they've always looked really good. So finally, I am getting to one of her books called Supernatural Academy, or again, rather, I've already got to one of her books, Supernatural Academy, and she did not disappoint. I will tell you more about it, of course, in my wrap up at the end of the month. But anyways, Supernatural Academy is about a girl called Madison James who um, doesn't have the best life and then basically uh, discovers that supernaturals exist, so it's people with supernatural powers exist, and that she's one of them. And when she learns that she's one of them, it's by somebody that's come to actually take her away to a supernatural academy, which is an academy for people with supernatural powers, they call them soups, and um, she is one of them. However, she doesn't know what she is. She's not a vampire, she's not a shifter, she's not a magic user, which I love that. Magic users like wizards and witches. And um, she's not one of the, you know, goblins or the the things, demi fay and stuff like that. She's not a fay or anything like that. They can't figure out what she is, but she's definitely got some very, very deep, powerful magic inside her. And they're trying to figure out where she fits in. And of course, there are the mean girls, the cliques in the school that don't like the new girl, especially the old, powerful new girl that no one can understand. And there is the handsome guy. And he's Mr. Popular, but he's like brooding Mr. Popular, you know, the perfect kind. And he's got a whole team of brooding handsome men around him. So, you know, just just a bunch of swoon-worthy guys, but the love interest is among them. And then the bunch of swoon-worthy girls, but they're all bitches, because that's just how it seems to work. So anyways, of course, Madison has a run-in with the main guy of this hot guy team, who is called Asher. And Asher seems to then unlock something inside her and they have some kind of connection but they don't understand it. Of course it's love-hate, awesomeness, things flying around and uh, they then start to realize that maybe Maddie is not who they think she is, although to be fair they can't really figure out who she is, but they start to figure out that perhaps there's more to her and perhaps him than they earlier realized and that everything that they thought they understood and knew from the school is not as it seems. And that is all for the books I plan to munch this month of June. Have you read any of these books? Do you plan to read any of these books? And what do you think of these books if you have read them or are planning on reading them? Of course the coloring book doesn't technically count, but what do you think of mindfulness coloring books? Have you ever done adult coloring books? Have you ever done one of these quests? Have you ever finished the coloring book? Because I'm really wondering if I'm ever going to finish all of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up but if you like all my other videos then please subscribe and until next time I'll see you bye